Brad, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, you know, the last time an animated film was uh, nominated for Best Picture was Beauty and the Beast. Yes. Given all the talk this year about your film, the fact that it's appeared on so many uh, Best Picture lists, do you think it's time for animated films to compete for Best Picture? Oh, well, um, we are eligible, um, but people have to nominate us. And I think that, uh, um, I, look, I'm absolutely grateful for this award. Um, I, I do think some people think that it's taken care of, though, if it, if it goes in that category. Um, so, um, you know, I, I think, though, that people's perceptions are changing all the time, and, and I think the Best Original Screenplay nomination is an indication of that. Thank you. Yes. 182 and then 226 down the front will be next. Hi, Brad. David Cohen from Hi. Variety. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. you. You called Pixar the best studio in the world. I'm wondering if you could talk about what makes it such a great place to work and how that helped you with this film. Well, they are, uh, unlike a lot of places, they are a director-driven place. Um, they don't, uh, 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 you know, give assignments to directors. They find uh, directors that they like and they want to know what you're passionate about making. So, uh, you know, they, they are interested in passion projects. Even though these things are big and, and expensive and complicated, they are passionate about it. John Lasseter loves toys and uh, uh, loves cars and, and Andrew Stanton um, uh, you know, put his relationship with his son in Finding Nemo, and Pete Docter wondered, you know, if there's a monster in a closet, where does it go, you know? Uh, so these films are personal films. And the other thing is that they, um, they empower you to make them, but they also push you very hard to make them better and better. So I just think they're very enlightened. 226 uh, right down the front. There'll be no living with your... Hi. Here, oh, hi. It's Jeannie Wolf. There'll hi. Be, how are you? There'll be no living with your diva designer now that she got to present on the Academy. Oh, Awards. no living at all. <laughs> um, what does she have to say about the way the women are dressed tonight? Well, you know, she says that uh, <laughs> um, some people look fabulous on the red carpet and some people would be better off wearing the red carpet. <laughs> yes, that's what she would say. And did she pick Pierce Brosnan to be the one she presented? He is rather dapper, don't you think? And the Bond connection certainly can't hurt. I am the oldest Bond girl, by the way. And I think that says for itself. We're going to do 240 right here, and then after that, 147, which will be the last, right here on the right, 240. And then to 147, which will be the last question. Okay. Tamara Tig Chels, production of Date Magazine. Hi. I'd like you to address the how the, the digital production and the advancements in, in technology have changed how you how you do movies now. Well, um, I think that uh, you know there are wonderful things you can do with being able to move the camera and have textures in there and you know, control minutia of performances that would be difficult in hand-drawn animation, uh, really subtle eye movements and stuff like that. But ultimately, I don't think, uh, uh, I think the heart of movie, ma movie making has been the same for 80 years. And uh, I think Pixar's success is due to the fact that technology is not at the heart of it. Uh, they believe that the most important thing is characters you can connect with in a story that is surprising and logical and exciting to watch. So I, I think that uh, the, the technique is something, you know, tem temporary and ever-changing. It's the heart of the film is characters and story. Yeah. And last question here on the left. Yes, I know you're going to be giving the State of the Cinema address at the San Francisco Film Festival, mm -hmm. and I wonder if this Oscar is going to color your address, or if you're going to, if you know yet what you're going to be giving it on, and if animation is going to be, uh, you know, a major part of the of the talk you're going to. Do. Well, um, I think that I'm going to be to sort of talking about how it's changed and where it's where I think it's headed in good ways and in not so good ways, and uh, I think that one thing that I really miss. Yeah, uh, myself as a moviegoer is single screen movie theaters where the, the whole experience of going to a movie was a little more grand. Um, I also really like big, big screens and balconies and, and uh, 
I, I kind of, I'm a little burned out on the Google Plexes. So, uh, um, you know, I think that if, if uh, exhibition doesn't really uh, step it up a few notches that people's home systems are going to be better and, and that's going to be bad, I think, because the communal experience and being in the cathedral of a movie theater, I think, is also at the heart of what makes film great. That's not going to play any part of it. <laughs> the what? Oscar? Well, no, I'll stand there with holding this to give me lots of extra credibility. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Very much. Congratulations. Thank you.